Hello everyone, Rupert here and welcome to Spin Tires. And uh, it's the first video of Spin Tires on my channel. Uh, you can see this is sort of an introductory video and it's also going to be, um, we're also going to do quite a lot of driving today and actually get this game underway. So I've started a new game and uh, we are on the hill, which is uh, one of the maps on Spin Tires. Uh, it's quite a, lot of, quite a large map and as you can see we've got all these cloaking points to remove which will reveal uh, portions of the map which will then give us a greater picture so we can see where we're going. What do we want to do first? Well I, uh, one of the things I would have thought we want to do is we're going to want to get this garage unlocked because it seems like there's a lot of vehicles over here and also it's going to be very useful to uh, get the C4320 which is actually a logging vehicle which we're going to need to uh, for the future episodes where we're going to be wanting to take some logs so I would I reckon today we're pretty much going to want to take what's over there which is the semi truck which will take a certain number of garage points and we'll be able to unlock the garage. So let's uh, just have a look at uh, how how many, where are we, garage semi-trailer carries four garage points. How many points do we need to actually unlock the garage? Uh, we need four. Okay, that's good. So what we can do is pretty much one, lo one load in this uh, vehicle here and uh, that will do us. So we going to need anything else we might as well stick some beacons on the top just because they look good and uh, let's start the engine up it's a little bit loud all right here we go so what a lovely truck proper russian you can see no care for fuel economy right there i mean look at that brilliant right so let's get moving we're going to want all-wheel drive on soon i would have thought but for now we'll see how far we can get without it because i'm on hardcore which means the fuel consumption is quite high. All right, so where do we need to go then to get to the garage? So the garage is over here. We need to take a left, because we don't really want to go through that water there by the looks of things. We're going to want to take a left and come down what looks like it's quite a steep track, so we need to go left and essentially follow the track round. So if I get lost, I do apologize. <laughs> oh, it looks like we're going to need a wheel drive on straight away to get through this mud here. Unfortunately, Spin Tires has the worst camera, if you've seen it before, but, uh, you know, we'll live with it. So, where are we going? So, we're going to go around here. So, I'm using the G27 today, so if I uh, do any god dodgy gear, gear changes, we, uh, you know why. Oh, look at this. This is uh, really is quite muddy, by the looks of things. Alright, so, let's uh, see how far we can get without diff lock on, because we don't really want to put that on if we can help it low revs and we should be fine just crawling along through the mud you know that's the best way to do it oh that is quite thick mud and it is a very big trailer but we'll see what we can do as you can see we've got by having the diff lock off you can see that the right hand wheels are not really spinning at the moment now they are and now it's not the left ones so that's why obviously diff lock is a bit of a pain because it means that not all the wheels aren't always providing traction they're just kind of stopped so it's designed for going around corners on tarmac, not really for off-roading, but uh, yeah, we're, we're getting on fine now. Look at this bridge. I wonder if it's going to hold up, because some of the bridges in spin tires are flexible. See if we can get it in second gear. Nope, don't like it. There we go. Right, so onto the bridge of doom. Not fall off would be a start, I suppose. Look at that. That is quite a Russian truck, isn't it? What a beast. What a beast. Right, so we're going straight and we need to take a right at this grassy bit here, I believe. Uh, not quite sure. We're going, yeah, we're taking a right here, I believe. And then we're going to head down that snaking road. We may need that uh, little A-type vehicle that you saw back, that little Land Rover type looking thing, the Russian version of a Land Rover. We may need that if we run out of fuel, because I believe that can take some fuel, the A469. So we're going to want to take a right at this split. Is there a split here? Yeah. Alright, that's it there. Okay. Oh, well, it looks thing is actually a properly paved road. I'm sure things will soon change, but at the moment that's looking, uh, looking good. Could have stuck road tyres on this thing and we would have been fine. Getting a bit... Look at that trailer wobbling, kind of flexing like it would in real life. Shame they can't port that over to Eurotruck. Right, so... Oh, nope. 
There we go. Let's see if we can get in second. Yes, we can. It's got a bit of a weird gearing system for the G27. It doesn't feel massively realistic, but you know, it was it was kind of a port over to the G27 in a way because originally it didn't support it. So we can't expect too much from it. Force feedback is brilliant though. It really is. Yeah, so I believe we're just... Am I gone the wrong way already? Yeah, ha how have I managed to do that? That's quite impressive, I suppose. I thought I'd... Oh, dear. Wow. Well, that's impressive. Right, so we need to find somewhere to turn around now. That's another task. Um, well, it looks like there's a bit of a turning here. Should be enough to get our truck around. So if I just sling it around at the last minute... And we should be fine. There we go. Stick that in there. Now, one of the things I love, the one, the one camera I do love on this game, is this one, because it is just like Eurotruck. You know that? We all know that. Oh, apart from it resets, so you have to kind of hold the button. But yeah. We all know that camera on Eurotruck. Okay, and we're already stuck. Things are not looking too good at the moment. Come on. Looks like we're just going to have to reverse straight back, because I haven't got, I'm actually got, I'm on full lock here try and get the rear around. What's, what's uh, stopping us from reversing? I think it's just too muddy. Right, what we're going to want to do at this point is stick diff lock on. And see if it'll pull. Yeah, it will. Pull a nice good one. There we go. Lovely. Right, okay, we should be good. Diff lock off. Off we go. Back the way we came. <laughs> Put it into fifth. Good. Right, we're cruising now. We can turn all-wheel drive off because we don't need it for the road. So. Okay, looks like we are going to need all-wheel drive on. Come on, power. Power through the mud. Power through. Come on. Nope. Doesn't want to. There we go. Hasn't got much torque this truck by the feel of it. <laughs> but oh well. Okay, so, here, yeah, this is looking more like the steep road I was imagining. Uh, yes, yes, this is it. I mean, look at that view. Sorry, we've just got to stop here for a second to look at the view. Look at that. What a beautiful game this is. Really, uh, the graphics are stunning. All right. Into fourth. Just let it roll down for a bit. See if I can help if I can get on the road. We're going to need to take quite a wide swing here. We don't particularly want to come off the, off the edge there though, because that would be not nice. I reckon you could roll it all the way down to the bottom if you were not careful. Right, okay. Leave it in gear, in fact. Put it in a lower gear, just, just so we've got a bit of engine braking on the way down, because we don't really want to be using the brakes. I'm not sure whether this game simulates en uh, brake temperatures, but you know, we don't really want to be using the, overusing the brakes. Okay, we're not getting around like that, I don't think. No, that's not even... I'll just see if I can jackknife it round. There we go. That'd be lovely. We clear. Oh, look at that. <laughs> all the pies that we did have taken to the garage are now all squashed up at one side. Not to worry. It's quite loud. Being a Russian truck that it is. Oh, we've got a bit of a. Uh, we actually had a bit of a skid going on there. The push the rear was really pushing the rear axles around. Always had a bit of a drift going on. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, not probably the best way of doing it, but. Right, so I don't think we've got any pies left now. I think they're all upside down. Made upside down cake. Right, so onwards. This is a very narrow tra track, and we're going quite fast. Sounds like a good plan, though. Time is money. Okay, so oh, look at this. Bit of a bit of a puddle here. Let's just blast through this. Look at that. That's brilliant. Right, I didn't actually look where we're going here. Oh, we're literally just up the track. Looking like it's going to get a little bit, little bit more difficult. 
In fact, actually, this looks like a very steep hill. Right, so... It's actually surprisingly difficult to drive from outside. I'm not used to this, but... Uh, oh, that is a steep hill. Hill start for the win. Low revs, just crawl up the hill. That's the best way to do it. We don't want to use the winch. We can help it. It's just wastes time. If we can help it. Right. So actually, I've pretty much got full power on at the moment. And it's uh, not slipping the wheels at all, which is great. Look at that. Tracking up the hill like a proper Russian truck. Looks like a Kamaz to me. Um, well, that's what it looks like. In fact, actually, I think it's pretty much. I think that's probably what it's supposed to be. I don't. I mean, I don't know what the trucks and spin tires. I don't think they're real trucks. I mean, I'm not 100%. Right, where are we going? Okay, carry on. Right. We can probably cut through that way, but I'm not going to risk it. That looks a little bit sploggy. We wouldn't want to risk the pies falling out in the mud. Then we have mud cakes as well. Upside down mud cakes. Using off roading techniques ish. Not really, but there you go. Um low revs. The best way. Look at the shimmer coming off the exhaust. You can see the fumes just being pumped out. I mean this is not something you would play if you're eco friendly sort of person. Save the polar bears no thank you with this truck. Oh, apparently it doesn't have much power though, it can't even get in second at all. I mean, I've got, I've got full power on at the moment, and it's not really speeding up or anything. But that's not to worry, we don't need we don't need speed. Oh look, this looks like the garage. It is. And we're going to be able to unlock this, which is good. And then we can actually kit out the logging truck, which is that one there, which we can then use to go and load up our first, first lumber load. So... Looks like we're running low on fuel, but uh, not to worry. So, we've now unlocked the garage. What do we need to do now? Alright, okay, so what do we want to do? We're probably going to want to get logs and go to the objective. I'm thinking this, oh, this logs kiosk here, and see if we can uncloak un that on the way, is what I would hope. Um, what vehicle do we want to use? To uncloak because we don't necessarily want to use the big lumber vehicle. Anyway, let's get into the other lumber vehicle and, and get it kitted out ready. So, unavailable. What's this? Garage unavailable. Do I need to offload my garage points or something? Ah, there we go. I didn't actually un. Oh, lovely music. <laughs> Look at those effects. That is, that is a. That is a proper game. Uh, that more games should have stuff like that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> here we go. Now we've got this truck. Right, so we can kit this out with everything we want. So we're going to want a like heart with crane. So we're going to. Oh, this is a good truck because basically, there's there's another truck that um, you can put a crane on. However, um, it the crane is out the back, so it actually takes takes room and you can't carry as large a log but with this one we can we can actually carry a large um there we go just think what i'm doing right here we are okay so attach a medium trailer so with, with this one we can actually take medium logs which will mean we have to do less loads um what about the other truck what can we do with the other one can we actually put one on this should we put a long logs cart on this one no we couldn't all right not to worry what do we need then? We need how many logs? Zero of eight. Now I'm not sure how much a log is. What I might do is actually put a log cart on this one. So we'll take the tractor off. What I'm thinking is put a log cart and then a medium log cart on this one and take both these vehicles over to the log kiosk. So I essentially load up both with that truck and then I can just drive both over. However, the issue with that is we then don't have a fuel truck. So what I might do 
is actually use this as a um that's what i'm going to do yeah i'm going to use this as like a almost our fuel uh, our fuel truck so i'm going to put a big cistern semi trailer on the back which can allow us to take loads of fuel which is going to be good because that's what we need um so yeah we'll do that and we need to get this thing fueled up where is fuel that is the question right up there so I reckon in preparation for the journey, we're going to want to go and get fuel and just so we're all good to go. Um, didn't we have low fuel? No. All right. Okay. So yeah, let's go and fill this thing up with fuel at the fuel station, which is just up here. So we can probably get through there somehow. So do a U-turn and then try and make a left. Here we go. Right. So have we got enough time? To no, we haven't. Right. Squeeze past here. Now we have. There we go. Lovely, jubbly. Right, so let's head back up the hill. So we do a U-turn here. And uh, I believe it's kind of off to the left there. Yeah, all right. So we're going to kind of uh, go on this bit here. If we can actually get through the mud, that is. Now, this is a very heavy trailer. I have driven this truck and trailer before, and it does get heavy, especially when you load that fuel in, because that is a lot of fuel this thing takes. I think it takes 3,200 litres from memory, which is a lot. I mean, that's heavy. That is really heavy. Especially for this low underpower truck. I mean, this isn't got a lot of power. It's just a Russian workhorse, really. It's just kind of, you know... It's got the torque, but not much power. But anyway, right, let's see what we can do here then. So we're going straight, pretty much just straight through these woody bit, this woody bit here. So if I can, I'll literally just gun it through this bit. Now the force feedback is very strong, because I mean, there's lots of logs that we're all hitting with the wheels, so it's actually yeah, a lot more difficult than you think to drive in a straight line. Oh, we need seconds through here, definitely. Right, so up the hill, and far away. Okay, so... It looks like we're going to need to go straight over here. Um, yeah. Where have I gone? I've sort of gone the wrong way. I guess we could kind of follow this through here. I suppose. If we can get up here, which it's not looking like we can. <laughs> why, did I, why do I always pick the most ridiculous routes? I think it's because I go the wrong way and then have to. My roots would be fine if I stuck to them. Ooh, oh dear. See a problem? Yeah. Oh, actually, no. We'll squeeze through there. No. Nope. Hit once. Hit twice. Clipping through. Oh, well. Pretend that never happened. Uh, oh, yeah. We're just following this track down. So, a bit of power. Use momentum to get us up the hill. That has actually worked to a lesser extent. <laughs> Here we go. Lovely. That was a great route. I intended to do that, and then we can go out the easy way. It was all pre-planned. Right. Let's fill up the swing of fuel. We can put, yeah, 3,200 litres. Now, that is a heavy thing. Right, so where are we going to head, then? Well, I guess we could take it down that way. Hmm. Actually, probably best to just come back the way we came. Well, not back the way we came, but down that sort of direction. We'll go via the garage. Um, I think I will stick. We'll try and keep this thing to main roads. There's no point in trying to take it. I mean, there's no point in trying to take it on muddy tracks if we can help it, because this is a heavy thing now. I mean, this is not, this is not looking pretty, is it? I mean, look at all these wood stumps. They're just staring at you going, I'm going to wedge on your trailer wheel. Using the bank. Oh, dear. I think we might have clipped one. Oh, dear. That's that's a bit of the uh, yellowy-orange paintwork gone. I'm <laughs> saying yellowy-orange because I'm colourblind, so I might actually get it right. So it's either yellow or orange. Let me know in the comments what it actually is. 
right in second just pull it through it's fine it's tough oh what what am i have i got to go through a bog that's what it looks like on the map no it's like just like a boulder field just in the middle of nowhere all right not to worry go this way i think yeah Oh, it doesn't like these at all. Can do mud. Boulders and mud? No. Oh no. Oh no. This isn't good. Right, let's just see if we can slowly... Uh, Alright. Uh, that's officially stuck. I mean, we just sank. We have completely sank here. We've got diff lock on and we're going to have to resort, resort, resort to winching. Alright, winch. Alright. Let's pull this thing out. Come on. Oh, it's the winch is struggling. Can, oh, that's not good. Can we winch backwards? That would help. We got a bit, got ourselves into a bit of a predicament here. Oh, there you yeah, go. Perfect. Put it into reverse, that might help. Pull out, come on. There we go. I can't actually see what the truck's doing, that's not helpful. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Pull us out. Nice. Now we need to work out how we're going to. Because there's no point in even attempting to go back through that. Because I mean, look, we've just completely turned it up now. Not good. Right, okay. We're still. Oh no, we're still really stuck. I mean, look at it. See if we can just pull ourselves forwards. I don't think so. It's not in range. Oh, was there a tree there? No, not good. Not good at all. Yeah, we need to pull ourselves right back. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Right now, pull, 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 pull. Just. Get us out of the mud, please. Make it stop being muggy, please. Right, and then do a really quick job of disconnecting and then just go. Don't stop or we're going to sink. That way, please. This way. No, not that way. Come on. Oh, it's not liking the boulders. Wow. Oh. Oh, it's because we're still attached to the tree. Poo. <laughs> Sorry, tree. I did wonder why I was springing back and forth like that. It was really weird, but it wasn't. It was just because I was attached to a tree still. Fair enough. That was my fault. Go. We're sinking. Go. Thinking. Bow up. And just go. Just go. Come on. We need the lights on now as well. Bow up. Don't let me get stuck. Just go. Spin. Turn the wheels left and right just to get us through. Come on. No, <laughs> don't want to get stuck again. And now I'm stuck on some rocks. I'm just going to winch before things get nasty. If I pull that way, should be good. Yeah. I'll leave that attached a bit. Come on. This thing just does not want to pull. Not at all. Oh, we need a winch again. Actually, that tree's over there. It's further away than it looks. Oh, no, it's not. Can just about winch. Come on, pull us out. Come on. It's just these boulders. It can do mud, but it can't do boulders and mud because it just stops it and then it gets sinks. And we need to turn right here. So, what are we going to do? All right. Okay, lovely. Right, okay, it's going well so far. I believe one this truck is struggling up this hill. And it doesn't to me feel that steep. Actually it is steep, yeah, it is fair enough. <laughs> you can't sometimes see from the in oh no, we're sinking. We don't want to do this again, do we truck? No, come on, let's actually go. Let's not stick around here. This mound bit is the trouble, see, right now I might. 
I'm, what I attempted to do there was demolish the mountain, but I feel I'm just going to make the mud stickier. We'll soon find out. If my tactic worked. So far, I'm thinking, no. Actually, I'm definitely thinking no. Um, yeah. Please let there be a tree. There's no tree. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll try and pull ourselves onto the less sticky mud. Just pull it. <laughs> oh dear. That ain't good, is it? That is not good. <laughs> That's one way of doing it. I suppose it'll make us nearer to the other trees that we can u then use to usefully pull us. Let's give that a try. Lovely. Alright. Things are looking good now. Pass that. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's it, little truck. Come on. A little Kamau's pulled through. Alright, so. Come on. No, uh, no. I just said you pulled through. You're not supposed to then get stuck. Oh, no. This is just dreadful. This is supposed to be a useful truck and trailer. But at the moment, it's causing more issues than it's solving. Alright, let's just winch it. No point faddling around with off-roading techniques. We'll just have to winch it. Alright, I'll take that back. <laughs> Can't even get out with the winch. Hmm. Oh, what we need to do is maybe pull ourselves to the right again. That worked last time. Just see if we can get the no the front onto flatter ground. It's funny, it's re it's really wedged on something. The tr the tree's not happy, is it? Oh, see if we can release that wind. Alright, let's reverse a bit. Just to loosen up the ground. And maybe move ourselves across a bit. Let's try that and see what we can do. It's just such a steep hill. The mud is so sticky as well. Alright, let's see what we can do now. Let's give it a try. Come on, pull, 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 pull. We need to go. We really do need to go. Here we go. Ah, uh, that's the ticket. That's what we wanted. Preferably don't slide down into the abyss. So, where are we headed? Alright, we need to carry on around the corner. And then down into the garage, and then that will conclude the first episode of Spin Tires. And in the next episode, we will get this fuel truck and lumber vehicle over to the logs kiosk, ready to uh, take our first load of logs over to the uh, objective. So here is the garage right here, and we will just park up this beast of a truck, which is seems to not be such a beast, it's just getting stuck all the time. Maybe that's my driving there. I won't blame it on the truck yet. Okay, yeah, it's my driving. Come on. <laughs> Let's crawl it in first. Come on, let's just get out of the ruts, that's the trouble. If you fall into the ruts, you just get more and more stuck. Because the vehicle bottoms out and then you just get wedged. <laughs> and I tend to get wedged a lot in this game for some reason. Alright, so let's, park, let's just park this thing up like this. So it's ready to come out next time, which it now is. And we'll also have room to get that other vehicle out if I reverse a bit. There we go. Good. Alright, so, hope you enjoy that everyone. The first episode of Spin Tires. We will pick it up next time and get this uh, dreaded fuel vehicle and this lumber vehicle here. I'm going to drive all the way down the road. Uh, I don't know which way. Maybe through the water. Or, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it, what it comes to. Or maybe down this way. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to end up here or here. Either or. It depends on uh, where my sense of direction takes us, <laughs> which is... Uh, somewhat non-existent and then we're going to take these logs all the way down to the objective so we've still got a lot to do on this map and preferably unlock all the cloaking because that would uh, make the game feel more complete so what we're going to do unlock all the trucks remove all the cloaking and get those logs done but until the next episode take care 
and uh, I will see you in the very near future. Yeah.